Hi, my name is Dr. Schweinsgruber with audioreviews.org and today we are talking about the Moondrop Super Spaceship Pulse. But before we do that, I would like to address some concerns people had and it's about curating the background. Well, first of all, people didn't like my palm tree and I'm pretty sure that this one also looks pretty boring. But in the end, isn't it the content that matters and not so much the looks. Anyway, just to reconcile everybody, let's do it. The question is, is window dressing so important or should we do black and white? Black and white, not good enough, no? Back to color? Okay. Maybe 1920s? No? The Moondrop Spaceship Pulse SSP has the same physical features as the Moondrop Spaceship Reference SSR. Same shells, slightly different finish, in fact a finer finish, same cable, presumably same driver. When you look at the graphs, the graphs also are uh, almost identical, it's just a difference in the base I pointed out in a second. So it really is just a variation of the SSR for people who found the SSR too aggressive, too shrill in the upper mid-range. Interestingly enough, when you look at Crinical's curves, the SSP has the same tuning as their flagship dynamic driver, the Illumination at, I don't know how much it costs, seven, eight hundred dollars. Um, uh, interesting, Moondrop used to follow the, with the Crescent and the uh, KPE, the Canas Pro uh, Special Edition, they also had essentially the same graph that was the Harman target uh, uh, graph and now they try to approach the diffuse field neutral graph. The SSP deviates from that and uh, it's going more into a direction of fun tuning. So this one will probably appeal uh, to more people than the SSR. When we compare the Moondrop SSP in green to the original Moondrop SSR in red, then we see that they have much in common. In fact, uh, just the, the buff 8900 Hz, they split towards the low end and the SSP have a slightly boosted base relative to the SSR. In my case, by two to three decibels, uh, other people measure up to five decibels. Um, this is not very much, but it's clearly audible and uh, the frequency response above one kilohertz remains the same and therefore here the shouty area, the tricky area remains the same. But um, um, the slightly elevated bass uh, can counterbalance it a little bit. So it's not really a much different earphone and I really wonder whether they just swap the filters. When you go to the photo page you see that SSP and SSR they have different filters on top of the nozzle. So what does the Moondrop SSP sound? First of all, it uh, is a little bit of a warmer tuning compared to the SSR, but not by much. It's still sticking fairly much to neutral. The low end uh, has gained some energy, it's articulate, it's fast, it's actually really good. It's not for bass heads, it's more for audio file listening but it's quite good actually um, and uh, the the rest remains pretty much the same as i said uh, the bass uh, is meant to counterbalance the shouty upper mid-range that only succeeds at low to moderate volumes in fact the spaceship is less shouty um, you still have to deal with a lean, with a lean uh, uh, vocals department, a lean vocal, uh, lower mid-range. Uh, vocals are rather lean, they're a little bit nasal because of this enormous pinna gain when you turn it up. Um, and uh, then you've got this drop, uh, this linear drop starting at around three to four kilohertz your uh, symbols are still um, still prominent uh, there's still some sibilance however um, it, the treble is not as well extended as in other 
earphones, you get compensated though by, by the upper mid-range. In terms of uh, technicalities, stage is, is um, pretty wide uh, and it's not very deep, but it's a little bit deeper than the SSR because of the boosted bass. And uh, it, uh, it, when you plug it into the Earman dongle amp, that's what I did, you also gain an elevation, you gain headroom, so your stage is becoming taller. Detail resolution and uh, layering separation is all pretty good for a $40 earphone. Everything is very precise, it's very technical. But it is still not a warm sounding, fuzzy sounding earphone. When we compare the Moondrop SSP and the Moondrop Spaceship, to our surprise, these graphs are almost identical apart from this spike, which is probably a, a resonance spike. It's probably not real. But uh, you would expect these uh, earphones to sound identical. According to their quantity, they do, but in according to their quality, they don't. The difference is that the um, spaceship um, has a slightly less tight, less articulate boomier bass, which adds warmth to the whole image, which is actually quite good. I really like it. And it's technically um, a little bit behind. The uh, detail resolution um, is better, the separation is better in the SSP. But overall, the spaceship actually sounds more agreeable. It sounds warmer, whereas the uh, SSP wins this one only on the technicalities. As always, there is a written review of this video. Uh, you find it at audioreviews.org. It uh, gives you all the information and graphs and comparisons. And the video is based on this review before. Okay, this was my take on the Moondrop Super Spaceship Pulse. We are back to normal now because my wife is coming home soon and she wants to enjoy her living room. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, ring that bell above to receive notifications, push that PayPal button and you find everything else you want to know, including a written review below in the comment section. Comment generously too. I'm Dr. Schweinsgruber in Calgary. Thanks for watching. Auf Wiedersehen.